Oh, there's a little graphic for 1000. Huh. Would you look at that? So it is currently 4 a.m. right now. I was doing some work because I scheduled too many meetings next week, and I realized that I was on my 1000 day streak on Duolingo. So this is an unscripted video on my thoughts and reflections of Duolingo over the years. I started to use the app back in college when I was young and stupid. Uh, now I'm just stupid. But I started using it when Duolingo was truly incredibly bad for Japanese. Like, I would not have recommended it for Japanese at all. But they have increased the quality of the lessons, and they actually included now a dedicated hiragana and katakana learning page, which I find kind of cool. But at the beginning, I picked the Japanese course because I was a weeb, and <laughs> so honestly, the first five to 600 days was me just maintaining my streak without actually doing anything on the app. But then of course, I stopped wasting my time and actually started learning Japanese. And after I learned enough, I was just able to test out the entire Duolingo skill tree. But basically, my thoughts for Duolingo is this. If you're an absolute beginner, then Duolingo will help you not become an absolute beginner. And if you're less of a beginner, then keep doing Duolingo if you like it. Because here's the thing, although Duolingo has improved over the years, it's still not great for learning Japanese, especially since it lacks a lot of grammar lessons and also throws kanji at you at the very beginning. If you're in the late beginner stage and you haven't really dealt with kanji yet, then I feel like Duolingo really throws you off the deep end, especially since a lot of the later courses don't have the grammar lessons attached to them. So let's say you're at the conditionals lesson and there's no grammar lesson uh, to teach you conditionals, which kind of defeats the purpose of the entire fucking lesson. But once you're past the earlier intermediate stage and you can power through the entire skill tree, then I think Duolingo is actually pretty good practice. Honestly, no one should exclusively rely on one thing as their study source, even if they're better than Duolingo. I'm looking at you, Lingo dear. So that's basically my view of Duolingo now. It's okay for early beginners when you don't know what to do. It kind of drops in usefulness later on because it doesn't include the necessary grammar lessons. But once you're at the point where you know all the grammar in Duolingo already, you can use it as an extra study source. So yep, those are my unscripted thoughts about Duolingo. I used to have much stronger opinions about it, but at this point, I don't really care. Uh, I don't know. These are just my thoughts. It's almost 5 a.m. I need to get my work done.